Hello. Uh, welcome to another Friday. You wanted to do masterpiece theater again. I could Most see it. It comes naturally, but I feel like I have. I'm gonna go for a French accent, and uh, yeah, she's got a lot of accents. people off because I don't know how to do a French accent, and I don't know what oh, I'm that's talking about good. right now. That's different. <laughs> That's where we're going today. We are going to France. 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 Oh, okay. This is still New Year's Eve as we're recording this episode. Still? And it <laughs> is. Oh my God. It's not, and, it's, I, um, and it's not even oh. time for New Year's Eve. <laughs> no. I'll be I, checking uh, into my bed. Wait before Oh, that. for goodness sakes. No, you know, you're going to stay up till midnight. In New York City. In New York City. <laughs> Two hours ahead. Okay. Oh my God, right. Heather, you're my favorite. Oh Sorry, my God. <laughs> <laughs> told the kids that they could stay up till midnight okay. in New York City, right. and they were like, "Really?" And then they realized it was two hours earlier, but they were still like, "Okay, sure, sounds good." Sorry, Sarah. Go ahead. Still holiday season. Let's go for a delicious drink. The reason why I picked this drink was I went out for lunch with a cousin of mine a couple of days ago, and she wanted to order this particular drink, and they didn't have a particular ingredient to make it. And I went, well, thank you, Rashina. So thank you, Rashina, uh, for introducing this drink to me, because I was like, oh, now I know what I'm going to do for my speakeasy episode. Mm -hmm. And it's called, let me bring my French accent out again. It is called Cure Royale, and Cure is another, or translation for, a black currant alcohol or liqueur, and you add it to champagne, and that's oh. a, some, oh, not champagne, but sparkling wine or Prosecco or champagne, whatever you like. And it's as simple as this. So one tablespoon of creme de cassis is cassis? what the black currant cassis, cassis? Cassis, thank you for the French. I don't know if that's right, honestly. Is thank you for correcting her, Cassis. Heather. I trust you We're back everything to like, you say. Do you? Because <laughs> we've had a fantastic track record. You could just call it red. Just like you called yeah. the other one blue. The Curacao was blue. Curacao, yeah. Pause the what? game here. What? <laughs> what about the place in the world that's called... The same spelling. Yeah, yeah that's what is it? Krakow? Blue. It's called blue. <laughs> The town that is so called blue. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, it is. Okay. Yeah, I have no idea. But if someone listening is, lives in that place, please tell us how you pronounce it. And okay. forgive us. Totally, totally. Teach us and we will teach all of our the listeners. The world. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll teach the world. Okay, I wasn't ready to go that far, although it crossed my mind. Think big, You just went there. The new year. You went there, Heather. We're reaching the world. Heather's in deep. (laughs) Oh, alcohol. All right, I'm so sorry, Sarah. I cut you right off. No. But I lost my mind when I saw the place, the blue place on the map, and I I lost, I got upset. (laughs) So, creme de cassis is the black currant liqueur. Mm. Okay, uh, I don't know how you would mm. do this in a non-alcoholic drink for the champagne or the sparkling wine part of it. Maybe you guys can give some uh, tips on this. But if you wanted to do the non-alcoholic for the creme de cassis, go to co-op mm. or TNT. And they have, on the in- international section, they have these um, cordials. You know where you have to add water yeah. to something? Yep. This particular cordial is called Ribena. It's a black mm. currant cordial. It's delicious. My kids love it. You just have to add water. And um, that would be the non alcoholic version of creme de cassis. Mm. I think you could probably do it with soda. Yeah. They even sell like a non alcoholic <clears throat> sparkling wine at the grocery store. Mm-hmm. There you I've go. I've walked past that. So you if you really yeah, want to yeah. have the sparkling wine, I think yeah. that would probably sub well enough. I think that would be great. Yeah. So both of those, and then you've got yourself this drink. And a couple of little frozen blackberries in here. Why not? And right? it is blackberry season. Let me tell you, I bought, I've gone through a <laughs> it lot. Is? It is. is. They've been on sale, and they've been so freaking tasty. Ah, yeah. It was very tasty. Where are they coming from? Some greenhouse somewhere is... Because it's sure not here. 
No, it's not here. It's like Peru right? or the hmm. long one. Hmm. Chile? The long one. The long one. <laughs> That's a geography lesson for everyone. It the might long. not be long, but at least it's skinny. And there you go. <laughs> there you go, you fucking god. That's it. what she said. <laughs> See? <laughs> oh, I love it. Cheers, ladies. The things that are said between recordings when the mic is off. <clears throat> Unfortunately, the mic's on in this one, and you guys yeah. have to listen to it. So, hey, no, nobody's forced to listen. I hope somebody <laughs> chooses to listen because they think it's fun and they enjoy it, and not, yeah, it's the kind of thing I would listen to. <laughs> so, you guys, you having a drink with us, guys? It's, fun. it's, it's fun. fun. It's fun having yeah. a drink with us. I, yeah. I like having friends in my ears. Or am I just sounding really lonely? Because I like having people to talk to. <laughs> <laughs> Well, no, because we were supposed to start this recording a little earlier and, you know, with the friends we have, <laughs> um, Karen was a little busy and she was a little late and I went, Heather, can you drink with me? Because I've already started drinking and so I FaceTimed with her. So I totally understand. I didn't want to drink by myself. Obviously, I didn't want to hang out with my family, so I picked Heather. <laughs> Well, it was kind of, yeah, but she was like, she kept kind of bringing husband into the conversation. He's like behind the phone somewhere and I can hear him talking and we're just, so it was kind of like we were all hanging. Kind of. Kind of, kind yeah. Of. Well, yeah. So what, what did you, like I mean, it's a little drink. on the sweeter side, but it mm. is a very, but it's not like a sickeningly sweet uh, drink. And I feel like it's very, it's well nice balanced take on... with the sweetness. I don't, whatever, I, with the yeah. Prosecco in there, that flavor just, it's a bitter flavor. So it balances out the sweetness, mm -hmm. I think really well. Proseccos tend to be a little bit drier. So it is mm -hmm. a nice I think uh, sparkling wine with this one because the syrup is quite sweet. I don't find it sweet really at all. Of course, Sarah, you're talking oh, oh, you're oh. talking to the two sweetest oh. tooths of sweet tooths here. So we don't find it that sweet. We're both like, nah, no. I just feel like one of our teeth should fall out at one point. <laughs> <laughs> just right in the middle of the podcast. Yeah. Okay. Okay, can I ask a question? Ask a question. Is a sparkling white wine the closest thing? So Prosecco, Champagne, and sparkling white wine, what's the difference? Yeah. So everything, all of it, it's the sparkling white wine. Prosecco's from a certain part in Italy, Champagne's from a certain part in France. It's called Champagne because it's from Champagne in France. Okay. And so it tends to be the most expensive. Does it mean it's the best? Oh my goodness, no French person. Please cover your ears. Not necessarily. Hey, they've so already heard your accent. They're not offended by... <laughs> if you're still tuned in after that accent. We lost our French audience a long time ago, friends. I think we did. It was somewhere around the time when Heather said Gorgères. Oh, shit. <laughs> you just have to bring that up. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. So it's all sparkling white wine. That's it. That's, okay. that's all it is. So it's just a different like grape or region or mm -hmm. region. Region. It's region. Yeah. Yeah. I actually find champagne, like from France, it's a much more dry. Yeah. I, I find Prosecco is mm. the cheaper version. Mm -hmm. It is good. Oh. Yeah. So, I mean, a lot of people do Prosecco instead of champagne. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you can get Prosecco from like all over the place. It's not like a regional. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I actually think that a rosé, a sparkling rosé would also be really nice. Ooh. What was the drink called again? Did it have a name? I've forgotten. Oh, it's Cur Royale. Oh, right. Cur Royale. And what was it that they didn't have at the restaurant with your cousin? Was it the Cur? Was the, the uh, Creme de Cassis? Oh. She had gone to the liquor store and she couldn't find Creme de Cassis. So she bought the uh, raspberry version of it, which was the Chambord. Is it the Framboise? Creme de Frambois. Yeah. 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 Framboise. Uh, Frambois, yeah. which uh, Aaron pronounces. Framboise. Just like go. Boise, Idaho. <laughs> Makes sense. Especially when you're drinking. So you're good. Welcome. And you can, and there's a peach version of it too. So you can totally. You know go crazy have have a good time with sparkling wine and something else and if anybody wants to wants to help us 
uh, in our efforts. You can support the yes. podcast. Yeah. Go on the website. Click the link. Buy us a drink. Yeah. There you go. It says buy us a coffee, but we're going to take that money and spend it on booze. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. So, shh. Thanks for joining us. You can find these recipes under the Speakeasy tab on 3kitchenspodcast.com. Look, if nothing else, we're consistent. Consistently bad, consistently wrong.